What's going on everybody? So today, what I'm gonna be doing on this nice warm muggy-ish day is I'm gonna be installing my uh, mud flaps from Rally Armor onto the RS. So I've already got everything set up and um, separated. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you real quick how everything looks as far as parts go and the boxing and the instructions. So I'm gonna tell you right now, this is probably gonna be kind of dark because I'm not trying to have this light beating on me the entire time because it is hot as shit. So I've already taken everything out. Mm -hmm. Let me get the stuff out the way. So here's the box. Looks kind of, kind of, kind of nice. Here are your instructions. So it comes with all the hardware that you're gonna need. Um, shows that you're capable of aligning the mud flaps, um, protects the underbody of your car throughout the turning radius. It has some colored in uh, instructions and diagrams for you to follow. And then how, how you can adjust it in the different ways you can uh, have it set up. And then in case you're still confused, it has the, the legitimate size layout of, of the mud flaps. So as you can tell, the big mud flap goes in the rear, the skinnier one go goes up front. So obviously if you're not familiar with these things, as it's hanging down, you're going to want to see the name facing outwards. Okay. So here's the fat one that's going to go in back. As you can see, I already have the hardware laid out. Um, another note, you do not have to take off the front wheel. All you need to do is to turn it to the lock. But because I'm trying to get you guys the best line of sight possible, I took the front wheel off. So I'm only going to be doing one side on camera. Then I'll do the other side off camera. And then I'll bring you back for the full look. All right, let's do it. So the first thing we're gonna start off with is gonna take off the uh, right here and then another one tucked up here in the corner. These are T25 screws. So we're gonna take these off. So, so we have some factory clips down here that we need to take off. We're gonna get a flathead screwdriver or like a small pry bar. All right, so it's gonna look like that. And then there's another one up here. All right, there's your second one. So I'm gonna keep these around, you know, cause you never know. So then our next step is going to be uh, two of the plastic hardware clips. We're gonna put those into place. So it's gonna be this side. So you want the fat part facing the rear of the car and the flush part facing the front. All right, so once that's done, now um, the rear mud flap bracket, which is this one, so the one that has this little extended notch, um, what it wants us to do is it wants us to line it up on the mud flap. So it's gonna line up like so, okay? And then we're gonna get one of our long screws with a washer. We're gonna put it through the second hole from the top. All right. And then we're gonna place a short and a long spacer through the screw. One, two. All right, so it says from your second hole down, to have the long screw with your short and long washer, 
right? And then we're gonna pass it through on the top. So I wanna point something out. So when you pull this back, you have uh, three spots where you want to, oh my eyes. Yeah, three spots. So you got this lower area down here, this top one, and then here is your third mounting point. So your second, so the second from the top, this is the one that we're mounting first to get the alignment set up. So let's try that again. All right, guys. So I got the um, I got the plastic screws in. <laughs> so one thing is that this is not like perfectly lined up. So you kind of have to almost angle the um, angle the uh, puncture that you make into the uh, fender protector, and then once you got it set up where you want, come back in with your screwdriver and tighten it up. Fucking. I wind up puncturing. I wind up puncturing this where the bracket lined up, but obviously this is adjustable, so it tilts up and down. This doesn't come down as far. I don't know if it was trimmed or not, but mine's was definitely way too short on this end, but you know, it's still doing its job. So I'm just going to finish tightening up this side and then we're going to head to the front. All right. So now we're in the front. I got the rear set up, but I need some adjusting. And um, what we're going to do is going to pop out one, two, three of these, and then we'll move on to the bracket. So I got one of these trusty, dusty little plastic clip removal springs. And just pulls the whole thing out nice and easy. All you got to do is just line the front lip up with the front clip it raises it pulls it out one shot so this one will be a little bit more difficult so i'm gonna have to use my flat and boom ta-da so your front bracket as we see is gonna have some line up not quite sure yet but we'll figure that out all right, so this one it shows the lineup to be in this manner. So just remember, it's going to be facing like that. So what it wants is for, it wants us to take this clip and then it's going to be flush part on the inside right over top of the hole. So the next step is the remaining three plastic clips. We're going to pull this up, and then these are going to slide right over the existing OEM clip points. So as usual, make sure they're lined up as best as you can. And then another one down here at the bottom. So this should be pretty well lined up. You can obviously adjust it so that it lines up with the hole, which is always key. Make sure the hole lines up. Here's your mud flap. Again, logo facing the rear of the car. So then your bracket is going to be behind on the rear. So you're going to have, oops. We're gonna have, looks like this is gonna go, it's gonna line up like so. So then your very top one is going to wind up being bolt straight into bolt to bracket. And then the rest of them will line up like so. So, so, so I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of upset that this front piece, yeah, sure, it's, it's in the bracket. So there's, it offers some, some rigidity, but it doesn't actually like <laughs> mount to anything. Like it just kind of sits there in front. 
And you can't say that, oh yeah, you know, you missed something because there's literally nothing hanging down here unless there's supposed to be uh, something from the original underguard protection that was taken off by one of the previous owners. But I'm not seeing anything on the instructions that say that it should clip onto anything. All right, guys, so real quick, um, the install, like I said, it's it's not difficult. It's not difficult at all. It does take some time because you gotta kind of finagle and play with the spacers and support them as you're lining them up to the uh, replacement plastic brackets. That's probably the most annoying thing. And um, the one thing that I noticed was the part of the felt lining where you have the puncture on the rear, it is, it's the second screw, I wanna say down. So when you unscrew the top, there's a screw on the back end that isn't really exposed. So that's the felt part that you're puncturing. Those other plastic clips that you're putting in, honestly, all that does is it keeps the mud flap pinned up against the, uh, up against the retainer arm. So it, it really has no function other than that. It doesn't hold it down. You can pierce it and have it kind of hold up against the felt liner, but you don't have to. It, it's actually, it doesn't change anything. It really doesn't. So um, that's it for this one. Um, comment, like, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Um, I'll try to take some better pictures and post them on the Instagram, Wrench Heads Tuning. All right, if you guys aren't following us there and on Facebook, Wrench Heads Tuning as well. I will try to post some uh, post job pictures on there the day after this video drops. So comment, like, subscribe, let me know what you think, ask any questions, yada, yada, yada. And as always, Wrench Daily.